In this video, we will discuss setting the snap distance and axis snap range. The object being snapped to refers to the snap points or hotspots that will be snapped to during an edit action, such as placement or movement. The effective distance of the snap is defined by the snap distance. When the mouse cursor moves within this distance to an object enabled for snapping, the cursor immediately snaps to that object's hotspot. Reducing this value weakens the snap strength. and increasing this value strengthens the snap effect. Keep in mind that a large value for the snap distance may prevent you from positioning the cursor at certain grid locations whenever a nearby object's hotspot is within the snapping distance. With a high density of objects on the board, working with a large snapping distance becomes inconvenient. In this case, it is recommended to set a shorter distance for a smoother movement of the mouse cursor between objects. A good rule of thumb for this situation is setting it to half a grid step so the distance will be determined by the current grid settings. In addition to direct snap to the hotspots of objects, snapping to axes is also possible. This allows the cursor to be aligned with the axes of other objects in the X or Y direction. The axis snap range is when the cursor is axially aligned and within this distance from an enabled object snap point, and the axis feature is enabled. A dynamic guideline will display to indicate that alignment has been achieved. Axis snap range has no universal value and is selected individually depending on the task. So now we know how to set the snap distance and what the axis snap range is. Thanks for watching.